For the fifth straight week, we are once again live from Midtown Manhattan for the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Over the last month, 16 individuals have scratched and clawed their way through the first round. Eight remain, and the quarterfinals of this illustrious tournament kicked off on this Sunday afternoon. Let us take a look at the updated bracket and the eight men that will compete over the next two weeks in the quarterfinal round. Dragon Lee, Nathan Frazier, Javon Evans, Wesley, TNA's Frankie Kazarian, Chad Gable, Pete Dunne, and of course the Cruiserweight champion himself, Tyler Bay. Kicking us off in moments, Javon Evans set to go one-on-one -on -one with Wesley. Let's take a look back to several weeks ago, seeing the young OG from NXT make his way through a former champion in the veteran, Akira Tozawa. Javon Evans with a tall task tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the man who possibly had the toughest road in the first round, that being Wesley. Wesley drew first blood against Axiom, but still came out the survivor on the other side of the bell. Kicking us off right here, right now in Hammerstein Barroom. SmackDown's Wesley, NXT Javon Evans, who's punching their ticket to the semifinals. Wesley was able to survive an exhilarating fight against Axiom, but can he get through one of the hottest prospects of the black and gold brand? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley! Wesley, of course, a former NXT Tag Team Champion, but he is looking for single success. This is the man who has been a part of the main roster for just about two years at this point, and has challenged for the Cruiserweight Championship on several of occasions. Wesley looking to top off his road in the quarterfinals by punching his ticket to the semis. Wesley, as we mentioned, might have drawn blood against Axiom several weeks ago, but was still the survivor on the other side of the bell. If that doesn't show you the lights, that Lee is willing to travel in the means of success, I don't know what will. And his opponent from Greensboro, North Carolina, Weighing in at 170 pounds, Jake Von Evans! Wesley may have traveled into deep waters, but here we have Javon Evans, who as you saw in the highlights, was able to outlast the veteran in Akira Tozawa. This young 20-year-old superstar has already held a world championship in Deadlock Pro Wrestling, now signed to the WWE at only 19 years old, and has already made waves in less than a year, the NXT brand. Now the young OG looks to continue to shock the world, looks to continue to make waves and shine his star the brightest if he can get through Wesley and punch his ticket to the semifinals of this tournament. This promises to be a high-flying affair between Wesley, who in this matchup would be considered the veteran, against the young OG, Javon Evans. This is the first of four quarterfinal bouts that will take place over the next two weeks right here in Midtown Manhattan, all a part of the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic. We are underway still to come this afternoon. One half of the WWE Tag Team Champions in Dragon Lee takes on Nathan Frazier in a SmackDown collision. Here we have an interpromotional battle. Wesley in the green, Javon in the orange. Lee, the aggressor, off the opening bell. Ron Evans loves to take things to the sky. They don't say that young man is bouncy for no reason, but Wesley has never been afraid to go high up. We have seen him soar through the skies against Axiom in recent weeks. Who is going to get higher here tonight? There's Javon Evans there taking down Wesley. Dead center of the ring off the standing moonsault. Only a one count that time, and I think Javon Evans knew he wasn't going to get the victory. Just trying to mess with the psyche of Wesley in the early going. Also forces him to extend a little bit of energy there as Lee gets taken to the outside. What did we say about Javon? That boy is bouncy as he heads over the top rope. Each and every week, it's only a matter of minutes before Hammerstein Ballroom is on their feet. 
This is what the Cruiserweight Classic is all about. Javon off the springboard. The young OG looking hot in the early moments. He's able to outlast an early fury from Wesley and now finds himself in the driver's seat. Takes down lead of the canvas once more. Now hustled up to the pinfall. NXT referee Adrian Butler right there to call for the three count, but not to be just yet. And this action has been hot and heavy throughout the Cruiserweight Classic. Exciting as all hell over the last four weeks. As we get into deeper rounds of this tournament, it only promises to get better. None of these superstars are going to see this opportunity to etch their name in the annals of history. It's only the third winner of the CWC. Nobody looking to see it slip through their fingers. We saw what this tournament did to one mad dragon, Ilya Dragunov, when he won the whole thing last year. Propelled him on to join the SmackDown brand, become Cruiserweight Champion, and over the last year, Dragunov has become one of the faces of Thursday nights. All the eight superstars that are left are looking for similar opportunities. This took the world takedown by Wesley moments ago. Able to kill the momentum of Javon at least for now, but as Akira Tozawa found out a few weeks ago, cannot underestimate this young man. Signed to WWE at 19 years old, enters the CWC at 20. Javon Evans, all the promise in the world, but can he get the job done? The lights are on bright. And the moment is here. Wesley, so many ways to beat you inside that ring. Loves to utilize strikes just as much as he loves to soar. As he goes to the top rope, Lee could be looking ahead skyward. Javon on spaghetti legs and gets taken down. Dropped like a missile. And almost had this matchup in the bag. Did Lee, but Evans is still alive. Said it once, we'll say it again. Do not underestimate the young OG. Every fiber of his being, he is going to leave inside those ropes on this Sunday afternoon in hopes to advance in the CWC. I believe that is the third time in this matchup that Wesley has hit that springboard stunner, relying on the basics. What the hell was that? My goodness. Senton, DDT, Evans dropped on his crown, but we ain't done just yet. Javon showing resilience, and there's West Lee getting set over the top rope. Nice sidestep. Lee went the distance with Axiom a few weeks ago. Was hoping to get this thing done, and there's a crash and burn by Javon. No water in the pool. Evans down and out at ringside. West Lee now looking to take advantage. Off the misstep from the young superstar. Javon lands on his feet. Gets sent back inside the ring. You see Evans dipping and dodging where he can, but Wesley is still in control. And Javon just got dropped. Super kick right on the button. Back to the top. Lee going for the corkscrew, but nobody home. The Cardiac Kid used that same maneuver to advance against Axiom several weeks ago. Evans had it scouted, and now Javon's coming alive. The young OG showing resilience here in the quarterfinal round. Wesley's got to be feeling the effects of colliding with the canvas moments ago. His body bouncing like it was on a trampoline, and now here's Javon Evans bringing the fight to the top rope. Get arrow! And hustles up once more, right into the cover. Only a one count. Midtown Manhattan is on fire as these two athletes are showing their athleticism, showing their agility, and leaving it all inside the ring. Evans, oh, Wesley thought he dipped. Evans got him in the second. Javon has got to find something to solidify momentum in this matchup. But once again, Wesley relying on what worked. That springboard stutter has been disastrous for Javon throughout this contest. Evans once again trying to fight back. Springboard of his own. Man, you could just feel the tension bubbling up between these two superstars as we enter deep waters in the quarterfinal round. 
They have not let off the gas since the opening bell. Mile a minute, these two going at it here in Midtown Manhattan. At some point, fatigue's got to set in. At some point, the tank's going to be running on A. How much do these two athletes got left? Nice takedown by Evans that time. He may have Wesley right where he wants him. You see the cardiac kid on spaghetti legs. Once again, he is being brought to the top rope, not by will, but by force. Evans' mind is clearly shifting gears. On top. This isn't going to go well for Lee. Spanish fly. Into the pinfall. But we are not crossing the finish line yet. Lee survives off an incredible maneuver by the young OG. Did Wesley just catch him on? Another kick out that time. And we have got ourselves a barn burner here in Midtown Manhattan. Evans now trying to create some distance. Javon realizing he has Wesley hurt. He may just need to sprinkle a little bit more salt in the wounds to get this job done. Crucifix bomb almost had him. But Javon was able to survive a former cruiserweight champion. A 19-year veteran in Akira Tozawa several weeks ago. Who's to say he can't keep down the Cardiac Kid, former NXT Tag Team Champion, in Wesley? Nobody home off the axe hammer. Lee just backstepped. Goes around again. Javon trying to play catch up. Wesley finds his man and levels him. Javon been the aggressor the last few minutes. Wesley may be the one. Feeling like he needs to cross the finish line now more than ever. Sense of urgency. Head scissors take down. Javon crawl to the corner, but I think this match has told us anything. It has told us there is no running from this high, flying high octane action. Double boots by the cardiac kid. And now some separation created by Javon. Oh, wow, look at the speed, especially this late in the matchup. You got to give credit where it's due. These men starting to go tit for tat with each other. Here's Javon catching Wesley right in the back with that moonsault. I don't think he got all that he wanted on that maneuver, but got enough to keep Lee down. Very similar to Wesley's corkscrew on Axiom several weeks ago. Just nailed it at the last second. Javon going to the top. Once again, Wesley is starting to stir. Oh, wait a minute. Javon getting the hell out of Dodge. Both guys going high octane. Nobody home in the delivery. At a stalemate here. Who's going to get the last laugh? It's Wesley. Javon looking like he's taking a nap, but waking up just in time. And we still got Nathan Frazier, a man whose moniker is to never slow down. One-on-one -on -one with one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Dragon Lee, who has had one hell of a month in the WWE. That is coming up in moments here in Midtown Manhattan. Who is going to advance and be the first to advance to the semifinal round? Will it be Javon? Will it be Wes? On top, going for that mood salt that delivered him victory a few weeks ago. Wesley had it scouted, and now muscles Evans down with a very unique submission hold here. This arm bar locked in, not something you'd expect Wesley to try to use to finish this matchup, but we saw him instituted against Axiom. Unfortunately for him, Evans did his homework and is gonna pass the upcoming test. Wesley with an overhead kick. Man, how many near falls are we going to see in this contest? Javon back in the corner. You see fatigue written all over his body language. Wesley once again sizing his man in the corner. Pele kick. Good night. Game, set, match. Point Wesley. This one's over. Javon Evans was looking like a mannequin after Wesley delivered that Pele kick out of the corner. 
knocking Javon's lights out just long enough to secure the three count. And Wesley becomes the first man to punch his ticket to the semifinal round. Wesley being a first round knockout in last year's tournament, this has got to be oh so satisfying for the Cardiac Kid. The first to move on to the semis. Who will meet him there? It's Frazier, it's Dragon Lee. It's coming up next here at Midtown. When the tension rises and the war on the battlefield begins, there is only one thing for these superstars to do. Survive! Coming your way on Saturday night, November 16th, for the Kia Center in Orlando, Florida. Witness the 2024 edition of the Fall Classic as the superstars of Raw and SmackDown, along with No Nation Gaming channel memberships, proudly present Survivor Series! It is the 2024 edition of the Fall Classic, one of my favorite events of the year. It is going down Saturday night. November the 16th from the Kia Center in Orlando. Survivor Series is on the horizon. Main show, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Kickoff begins at 4.30 for No Nation Gaming channel members. We look ahead to next week here in Midtown Manhattan as the quarterfinals of the CWC continue. Alpha Academy's Chad Gable, one-on-one -on -one with TNA wrestling legend Frankie Kazarian. Plus, the big strong boy Tyler Bate retaining his championship against J.D. McDonough last week. Now puts the gold on the line against an old rival in the Bruiserweight Butch. All in the midst of the quarterfinals. The CWC is right back here live next Sunday afternoon. Can't get enough Universe Mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more Universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. Well, Javon Evans and Wesley lay in the groundwork. Now it's time for Nathan Frazier and Dragon Lee to build the foundation. The quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament continue right here, right now. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Dare I say the most exciting victory of the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic, Nathan Frazier and TNA's Zachary Wentz may be stealing the entire first round of this tournament thus far. An incredible matchup on week one of the CWC last month. Nathan Frazier outlasting some of the most crazy maneuvers, to say the least, that we've ever seen inside of that ring and dishing out some of his own. The never slow down mantra of Frazier proved him right last month but will it do so again as Dragon Lee has only continued to gain momentum since his last outing here at Hammerstein. And his opponent from Tala, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 165 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Dragon Lee, of course, defeating the LWO's Cruz del Toro in the opening bout of the first round. Impressed so much that Rey Mysterio called upon this man to help him fight Angel and Birdo one week later at the season premiere of SmackDown, winning the WWE Tag Team titles and moving on to the SmackDown brand in the process. 
Dragon Lee, a part of the Latino World Order, now repping those green, white, and red colors. But he has still got business to settle right here in Midtown Manhattan. He has advanced to the quarterfinals thus far, but can he make his way to the semis? It has been an awesome month for Dragon Lee, full of victories inside of that ring. Halloween Havoc, SmackDown, Bad Blood, Dragon Lee's been all over the place. Will his momentum continue or come crashing down? Javon Evans and Wesley putting on a clinic moments ago, but the quarterfinals of the CWC continue right here, right now. The Never Slow Down Montreux Frazier, the tag team champion in Dragon Lee. We are underway. Dragon Lee, hot out of the gate. Power bomb. Only a one count that time. Referee Chad Patton from Friday Night SmackDown. It should be Thursday Night SmackDown. Calling the action between these two blue brand superstars. Nathan Fraser knows all about turning heads with his actions inside of that ring. A man who was representing NXT in last year's tournament may have come up short, excuse me, in the semifinals, but impressed so much he was awarded a SmackDown contract afterwards. Fraser has had a couple opportunities at the Cruiserweight Championship. Him and Axiom challenged for the tag team titles earlier this year as well. Axiom may have been bounced in the first round, but Nathan Fraser is going to go back to familiar territory and make his way to the semis just like he did last year. Fraser was knocked out of the 2023 installment of this tournament by a man who now resides on Monday Night Raw, that being Johnny Gargano. Fraser looking to make a different result in 2024 and go all the way to the finals. All remains to be seen if he'll be able to do so. Ethan Frazier, you gotta wonder if he's got the advantage coming to this matchup as well. He has had all the time to prepare for Dragon Lee and focus on Dragon Lee. Lee, you could say, has had that same time, but Lee has taken up a lot of responsibilities over the last month. Jumping from NXT to SmackDown, joining the Latino World Order, winning the WWE Tag Team titles. Just last Saturday, he was a part of the Bad Blood kickoff show in a cha chaotic, to say the least, Tornado Tag Team matchup. Dragon Lee's focus has been elsewhere, all the while Nathan Frazier has been preparing for this matchup over the last four weeks. Is Frazier in the favor column tonight? Dragon Lee muscling down Frazier momentarily. Nathan creating a little distance here. If there's one thing we know about Dragon Lee, he's more than willing to close that gap. Suicide dive. And Dragon Lee, such speed behind everything he does inside of that ring, especially in comparison to Nathan Frazier, a man who lives by the mantra of never slow down. This is going to be one fast-paced contest on this Sunday afternoon. Lee now over the top rope, taking down Frazier with a head scissors takedown. This is for the drop kick that time. There'll be a lot of action in this matchup. We will do our best to keep up with it. These guys are moving a mile a minute just as Evans and Wes Lee did moments ago. Frazier now with a drop kick of his own. Wes Lee becoming the first man to punch his ticket to the semifinals of the CWC. He will be back right here at Hammerstein Ballroom in just two weeks' time. But who will be his opponent? Will it be one half of the tag team champions in Dragon Lee, or will it be Nathan Frazier? Right now, it looks like Nathan Frazier, as we mentioned, is the favorite. All that focus, all that preparation he has put in this matchup. Will it come back to benefit this young man? It's Dragon Lee now getting to his feet, but I don't think he knows what's coming. Wow, Nathan Frazier with a swanton bomb on a standing Dragon Lee. Talk about an innovative way to get your opponent looking up at the lights. Frazier picking up right where he left off against Zachary Wentz four weeks ago. Will the throw caution in the wind, get unique inside of that ring, do anything he can to take the, take, I should say, the expectations of his opponent, turn them on their head as once again he muscles down Dragon Lee. This has been an afternoon full of near falls, and I don't think we're done just yet. Dragon Lee proving to be a survivor. As we mentioned, took down Cruz del Toro in the first round of the CWC on September the 29th. Has now teamed up with Rey Mysterio in two successful outings, outings against Angel and Birdo. 
Also wins a singles victory at Halloween Havoc Night 1 for No AC Gaming Channel members against Andrade. Defeated Apollo Crews on SmackDown recently as well. Now going on one with Nathan Fraser. Has Dragon Lee focused? Has he prepared? Is he ready for the fight that Fraser is going to give him? German suplex by Lee. This one's not over yet. Dragon Lee certainly looking to be prepared. Withstanding some of that fury from Nathan Fraser, and now it looks like Lee is ready to go. Skyward here in Hammerstein. The Dragon's got that look. The Dragon's looking to fly and spew his fire. Nathan Fraser doesn't know what hit him. Dragon Lee, what half of the tag team champions, bringing this fight back between the ropes where he hopes to get the job done. Well, there's a sidestep by Frazier. Gets caught in the corner. Overcommitted that time. Lee gonna make him pay. Snaps the arms into another German into the bridge. Only a one count. Referee Chad Patton gonna call this one right down the dotted line. Oh man! Bicycle knee to the jawline. That is a signature maneuver out of the arsenal of LWO's newest member there. You want to talk about overcommitting. Lee might have had this matchup won, but continued to push the metal, and it only came back to bite him. What a corkscrew by Frazier. And Nathan Frazier is like a spark plug inside of that ring. Electricity will catch you within an instant. Dragon Lee using the ropes just to get to his feet. If that doesn't show you that fatigue is starting to set in, I don't know what will. Face first off the turnbuckle. Not the Sunday brunch that one half of the champs had in mind. Nathan Fraser starting to show some frustration. May only be a few minutes into this matchup, but these guys have expended loads of energy and obviously they're starting to pay its toll. Off the... Inseguri inside of that ring, Shining Wizard, whatever you want to call it. Oh, wait a minute, hold on there, Nathan Fraser overcommitting himself. I think he thought Dragon Lee was following him and realized that he wasn't. That is only going to come back to benefit Dragon Lee as he nails Fraser with a destroyer. One man's trash, another man's treasure, a misstep allows Dragon Lee to gain the momentum. Frazier thought Dragon Lee was right behind him, tried to explode out of the corner, only to meet the canvas, and now it's Dragon Lee who's back in control. At least momentarily as Frazier off the boot. Momentum going back and forth like a teeter-totter in this matchup. Other side step by Dragon Lee, goes behind, drop kick, Frazier gets caught up in the ropes momentarily. This has been a fight. The complete opposite of one-way traffic. These guys are like two demolition derbies going right at each other. A car wreck waiting to happen. Frazier hoisted on top. I don't know what Dragon Lee's got in mind, but it isn't going to go well. For Nathan Frazier, my goodness! You want to talk about a crash landing? Look no further. Frazier rolling to the outside, Dragon Lee looking like, man, I would have had this matchup won if Frazier's instinct didn't kick in and he was rolling to the ringside to create some distance. Dragon's trying to make up for lost time as he heads to the top, but he gave Frazier a moment of R&R. &R. Dragon able to get out of the way. Runs at Frazier. Frazier gives him the stop. Does Nathan have one last spark plug to give? Any gear that Frazier can kick into, now is the time to do it. Dragon Lee has instituted some huge momentum over the last few minutes. Big time maneuvers. That German off the top really had to take a lot out of Frazier's heart and soul of this matchup. Another reversal that time by one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions as Dragon Lee drops it with a neck breaker. And just as much as it is, Instituting pain on your opponent. These high octane, unforgiving maneuvers sometimes will take just as much out of you. And you see Dragon Lee, although has been majority in control for the last few minutes, slowing down himself. 
Now it's Nathan Frazier trying to do his damnedest to rev up the engines. Dragon Lee doesn't know what hit him playing that game of cat and mouse, and it's Nathan Frazier who gets the last bite. Lee looking up at the lights. Frazier on top. Phoenix splash on the button. Dragon Lee was in the drop zone. Nathan Frazier couldn't have nailed it any more perfectly. But this fight is not over yet. And this sold out crowd here in Hammerstein Ballroom, the last people who are going to be complaining. Dragon Lee in the corner, maybe looking for Operation Dragon. Oh, well, wait a minute here. Dragon Lee wanted the pinfall. Will referee Chad Patton calling it as is. Oh, you see some frustration out of Dragon Lee. Uncharacteristic to mouth off the referee Chad, but. Frazier's feet underneath the bottom ropes. Nathan literally saved by the ropes that time. This one had to be over off Operation Dragon. And Dragon Lee, you see now, slow to capitalize. He thought that was it. He thought that was the exclamation point. It very well may have been, but lack of ring awareness ends up benefiting Nathan Frazier. And now Lee's got to try to think on his feet. Oh, man. Second destroyer. Frazier might have been saved temporarily by the ropes, but it may just be de delaying the inevitable at this point. You see how much has been taken out of Frazier. That Operation Dragon took him all the way down to E. But this matchup progresses nonetheless. Surviving, yes. Thriving, no. Frazier is in trouble. Dragon Lee wanted this match to be over with, but is now forced to continue as he sends Nathan Fraser back between the ropes. Springboard, my goodness, frog splash. Fraser is absolutely chopped liver inside of that ring. And Dragon Lee, a shark that smells blood in the water. And now it's over. Some ring awareness, delaying the inevitable it seemed as Nathan Frazier was completely wiped after that Operation Dragon. Lee forced to rub some salt in the wounds, but he got the W nonetheless. Dragon Lee's momentum continues to be sky high, and he now joins Wes Lee in the semi-final round. Well, there you see the updated bracket. We enter this afternoon with eight. We are down to six. Dragon Lee and Wesley will meet each other two weeks from now, right back here in Midtown Manhattan. But next Sunday, it is TNA legend Frankie Kazarian, who defeated Joaquin Wilde in the first round, taking on Chad Gable, who made it through Jonathan Gresham. Then, Pete Dunne, Tyler Bate, these two men no strangers to each other. The Bruiserweight has challenged for that gold before. He gets another crack at it next Sunday afternoon when these two gentlemen meet in the quarterfinals. Another exhilarating afternoon as it continues to be here at Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. One half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, the LWO's newest member, Dragon Lee, continuing to soar through the skies, spread his fire, and build his momentum. Thank you for joining us here at the Cruiserweight Classic. The action continues next Sunday afternoon, live at 12 noon Eastern time.